Jamie, when you're battling through a tough stretch like this, uh, do you guys draw back on anything from last year's tough start just to try and play your way out of this? Um, yeah, I guess you can. Um, we just got to find a way to uh, to bring a little more each guy and um, you know dig in and, and just win one hockey game. That's all it is. Next, we'll go to Mike Heika. Mike. Hey, Jamie. I've been watching Ted Lasso. I don't know if you have the new TV show. Anyways, he's a coach and he focuses on stuff that's off the field. Uh, he focuses on, you know, the, the chemistry of the team. So what's the balance of that while you're trying to fix these things on the ice and in the locker room or off the ice? Um, I mean, our coaches are um, you know, we're doing a great job of giving us uh, you know, the information that we need to, to be better. And um, ultimately, it comes down to, to each guy. Um, getting themselves prepared and, and getting ready to, to play a hockey game and win a hockey game and um, going through a tough stretch. You hear it all the time. You need, um, you know, all 20 guys in that dressing room to uh, bring their best game um, for that night and um, do whatever it takes to, to just win one hockey game. Next, we'll go to Saad Yusuf. Saad? Hey Jamie, uh, Jason Robertson started the season on the roster and then and then was sent down to the taxi squad. Uh, how have you seen his game develop and change in such a short period to for him to have the week that he did last week? Um, he's been putting in a lot of hard work. Um, I'm probably uh, us players see a little bit more than obviously you guys do. Um, you know, but he's learning and. Uh, you no know, wants to get better, and I think it's translating to his honest play. Next, we'll go to Matt to Franks. Matt. Hey, Jamie. Last game, you and Joe had uh, had some different line mates on the right wing there. What kind of player works well with the two of you guys, and how does that change uh, when you guys have different guys there? Um, it really doesn't matter who, who's there. Um, you know, so many guys coming in and out of the lineup. Uh, you know, we're used to seeing uh, different kinds of players, and um, we're going to mix it up again tonight. So uh, we'll see who's playing with who. Next, we'll go to Mike Heika. Mike? I think I've confused you there with the last question. This is a Zoom problem. I don't know uh, what you're talking about, Hikes, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, basically, I'm saying when you guys were in the bubble last year, you guys built chemistry as people, not, you know, not just teammates, but as people. Is that important at a time like this? Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, we're, we're a tight group and um, I think going through uh, what we went through last year and then all being together for um, two plus months, um, you know, brought us even closer. And, um, you know, we know we have each other to lean on in, in tough times, and, um, and a lot of this group uh, went through the start that we did last year, which obviously wasn't uh, wasn't good, but we battled our way out of it, and, and we'll do it again uh, now. Our next question is from Brian Ray. Brian? Jamie, a bit of a different topic. You've spent your whole career in Dallas. Uh, when you see weather like this, you know, you don't see a winter like this down in Dallas. Do you, do you try to go outside and enjoy this type of weather since you are, you know, from Canada and you've lived in, in situations like this before? Just the weather we're dealing with and you haven't spent the time here. What have you thought about this situation? Uh, it's pretty neat. Um, it's probably the coldest it's ever been since I've been here. And um, the most snow, snow that I've seen um, since I've been playing for Dallas, so uh, you know, I quite enjoy it. Um, hopefully it, it doesn't last too long, but um, it's fun to see uh, a whiteout in Texas. All right, thanks so much, Jamie.